Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nirsh Kumar Singh and you are watching Agile Tester Certification. Uh, today we are talking about the last topic of the chapter one, which is release and iteration planning. And here we'll be closing the chapter one finally, and we'll be moving into the sample questions in the upcoming tutorial. So stay tuned for that. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about release and iteration planning. So. When you talk about the planning here, uh, we have two different planning being done for the entire life cycle, where generally uh, when you talk about the traditional approaches, we just have one planning, which is the overall test plan. But here we have two different plannings. One is the release planning and second is iteration. So let's get started with release planning first and understand what is different from uh, iteration planning in release planning. So release is actually the entire release, the entire process planning which you do at a very beginning level. But iteration planning is for each iteration because for us in Agile methodology, the cycles are equally important like a project. So you just uh, make sure that you give very good value to the each iteration as well and we do a proper planning for each iteration as well. So let's get started with the release planning here and understand a bit more detail uh, that uh, release planning defines and redefines the product backlog. Generally, when you talk about a very major stage overview, we are talking about uh, prioritizing or creating the backlogs, which you are going to have the product details like ta different tasks which are being taken out of the uh, user stories. So that will be created as a part of the product backlog. And generally, this will be uh, created with uh, the... Uh, in coordination with the business representative like product owner or maybe the uh, customer representative who generally comes to do the same job. And uh, it generally helps you uh, at that point of time to prioritize the task, which will be of course responsibility of the business representative during the release planning is to determine what are the tasks and how do you prioritize them. And then really they prioritize the user stories for the entire release in collaboration with the team by understanding their pointers that how many numbers of hours would be required, what is more complex, what are the risks involved. So it's just not one person's responsibility. It is a role of business representative to do that job, but it is equally contributed from different team members when it comes to release planning. So let's quickly look at what are the testers uh, major contribution to the release planning here. Defining testable user stories including acceptance criteria, participating in project and quality risk analysis, estimating testing efforts associated with the user stories. So generally this is estimation of the effort required that how many hours would you need to do that job or maybe what is the time and uh, cost involved. Defining the necessary test levels and planning the testing for the entire release. So generally testing or, or testers are very useful and uh, very contributing at this point of time to do the same job for you. When it comes to the next one, that is the iteration planning, and iteration is specific to a particular iteration, of course, but internally when you talk about uh, dealing with such activities, of course, we do a proper planning for that as well. Now, what generally happens here is uh, prioritized uh, release backlog will be elaborated from the user stories, and even when you talk about the sprint backlog will be established here. And we will be prioritizing further internally within the sprint backlog that what we will be doing in this sprint or this iteration and how is that we are going to cover it. The business representative must answer the team's question because business person really knows what exactly the user story is all about and how it's going to be wealthy enough to uh, you know, develop it and test it. Now here the contribution or major contribution from the testers would be participating in the detailed risk analysis of the user story Earlier you identified, but you know what we're doing. There is risk analysis here, like how we can mitigate it and so on. Determining the testability of the user stories. Creating acceptance tests. So in release planning, you will determine the criteria. Here you will start preparing the test. Breaking down user stories into tasks. Estimating testing effort for all the tasks, not just the user story. User story is something which is... Uh, overall like overview of the entire thing but task is like you know breaking that user story into each activity what you're going to do so now when you talk about iteration we talk about task when you talk about release you talk about user stories and also identifying the functional and non-functional aspects of the systems to be tested will be done as a part of iteration planning we'll be just elaborating it like breaking them into more detailed way and understanding the same thing now when you talk about uh, the overall thing, what to generally face it as an issue. So release plans may change as the product proceeds. 
project proceeds because including changes to an individual user story or maybe the product backlog these changes may be triggered by internal or external factors when you talk about internal maybe you get certain defects maybe you have certain importance or maybe some showstoppers appear external maybe from the client side the requirement is being updated or changed then of course we have to accommodate such things these changes can be challenging for the testers testers should really understand the big picture of the release for the test planning purpose and they they must have an adequate test basis and test oracle in each iteration for the development process like miss what what is that you would need to do if in case you get stuck so overall putting it together the release and iteration planning should address test planning as well as planning for the development activities because now we have one team called as development team and it's not limited to only testing so whatever planning you do is for overall particular test related issues which we generally face are listed here the scope of testing the extent of testing for those areas in scope the test goals and the reasons for these decisions could be difficult to determine so you take a uh, good collaboration between the team members to determine such things and make it more effective the team member who will carry out the test activity could be challenging to determine because uh, you know you know what your qualities are and who can do the best so we should have a good collection of members to compromise or uh, the company to make a development team the test environment and the test data needed could be another challenge generally when you talk about the timing sequencing dependencies prerequisites functional non-functional activities all are one or the other way challenging things so we take extra care extra time for those things the project and quality risk to be addressed by the number of test cases by the number of cva test cases prioritizing them should be attended very smartly enough so these issues are very common not limited to agile even in traditional but it's just that how do you address it the best and you have put equal effort to uh, manage them or maybe mitigate them at the right time so we can overcome the risk by understanding the risk is all i can say so anyways that's all from this particular tutorial team hope you got the concept of the release and iteration planning from this tutorial in case still you have any queries feel free to comment below i'll be there to assist you in the best way so till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding thanks for watching the video team we'll be back with another tutorial please subscribe the channel it will help you to get notified with what we have got upcoming next so take care team happy learning